Ale senza un obito Mi ci uderai sì Mi ci uderai sì Ale senza un obito Mi ci uderai sì Mi ci uderai sì There is poverty on me. There is poverty on me. Miracles are put me on me. I believe the voice to say. I believe the voice to say. It's you, it's you that I see. It's you, it's you that I see. There is poverty on me. There is poverty on me. Miracles are put on me. I should be loved. I should be the voice to say, It's you that I see. It's you that I see. You are bigger. You are stronger, stronger than the stronger. You are higher, higher than the higher. You are greater, greater than the greatest. You say you are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the higher. You are greater, greater than the greatest. Oh, you are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the stronger. You are higher, higher than the higher. You are greater, greater than the greatest. You are bigger, bigger than the bigger. You are stronger, stronger than the stronger. You are higher, higher than the higher. You are greater, greater than the greater. Jesus, we call you Jesus. Lift up your voice and worship His name. Exalt Him this morning, magnify Him. The one that have kept you since the beginning of the month till this hour. Lift up your voice. Exalt His holy name. Magnify Him. Say sweet things to Him. There is no like unto our God. No one to be compared unto Him. Yesterday He is God. Today He remains God. Forever He will be God. I appreciate God for His mercy. I appreciate God for His loving kindness. I appreciate God for His faithfulness. I appreciate God for good health. I appreciate God for strength. I appreciate God for honor and victory. I appreciate God for helping you on every side. Give God praise on behalf of your family. Thank God for your business, for your career, for the work of your hand. I appreciate God for answer prayers. Give me praise, give me praise, give me praise, give me praise. Give me praise, give me praise, he's, give me praise. He's already there, he's the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end, the first and the last. The lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star. The lamp of God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. I appreciate it. Our Emmanuel, the God that is always with us. Bless his holy name this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have worship. I tell someone to say a louder amen. I want you to lift up your voice loud and clear this morning and say, Father, your word it is written that you will have mercy on who you have mercy and you will have compassion on who you have compassion. For it's not of he that will let or he that run it. It is the Lord that showeth mercy. O oh God of heaven, make me a candidate of your mercy today. Make me a person of your mercy today. Lord, show me your mercy on every side. He said, I will have mercy on who I have mercy. Tell God this morning that you will be that fellow. 
you'll be that woman, you'll be that man that the Lord will have mercy today in the name of Jesus. Masuka Labashitaria asking for mercy, asking for mercy, asking for mercy that he will sustain you today by his mercy. He will guide you today by his mercy. He will pardon your sin by his mercy. He will pardon your iniquity by his mercy. He will glorify his name by his mercy. Just anchor all your expectations this morning on the mercies of God. On the mercies of God. He is rich in mercy. He is the father of mercy. His mercy endureth forever. Brethren, lift up your voice. Say, Lord, just have mercy on me. I and every member of my household show us mercy today. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. Only one person said, Amen. Hosea chapter 14, verses 5 and 6. Hosea chapter 14, verses 5 and 6. I will be are the due unto Israel. I just want to say better. Amen. He shall grow as the lily and cast for his root as Lebanon. His branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon. I thought someone would say a better. Amen. When you see a God say he will be added due unto Israel. Meaning, when the Lord is added due unto you, you will not know any form of dryness. Praise the Lord. When you talk about the Jews of heaven, the Jews of heaven ensure that there is fruitfulness, that there is increase. Once the due, you know what due is? When you wake up in the morning and you go on a, uh, what do you call it? A road path that is just leg. You know what I'm talking about? Before you know, you see water splashing on your leg. Am I correct? From the plants. Uh -huh. That is a dew. Praise the Lord. It helps the plant to grow, to flourish, to blossom. And so God is saying he's going to be like dew to Israel. And because of that, he shall grow as a lily. I am praying for you. On every side, you will increase. Amen. You will grow, you will not die. Amen. So far, there is dew. The plant will survive. Amen. I am praying for you. On every facet of life, you will survive. Amen. He has said him and said loud and clear. Amen. He said, we cast forth his fruit as Lebanon, meaning you are going to be strong. When a plant has roots, a very strong root, you know that you cannot just uproot that tree. That's why one of the best trees that had best roots is palm tree. Am I correct? Huh? If you see the roots, so tiny, but it goes everywhere. No power of the wicked shall be able to uproot you. You are saying them and say that and clear. Then he says, it's going to beautify you. This morning, a new glory will come upon you. And then he says, it's going to perfume your destiny. He's going to do what? He's concerned about your smell. Praise God. Somebody is going to smell well, well. <laughs> your smell will attract blessing. You know when somebody wears a very nice perfume and the fellow pass by, Praise the Lord. Meaning, after the fellow has gone, you will see the odor still oozing. Praise the Lord. And uh, when it is a very sweet one, after the fellow has passed, you are still looking at the direction of the fellow because the fellow's smell is a good smell. I am praying for somebody. God will perfume your life Amen. such that where you are not expecting help, Help will be attracted to you. Amen. So lift up your two hands and fire five prayer arrow very quickly for about six. And say, Father, Father. be as due unto me and my household that we may grow on every side of life and we will not die. Can you go ahead and talk to the mighty God? The one that stopped growing, we die. <laughs> The one that stopped growing will not leave. 
Oh, go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Masuka la bashe tele. So bale, kaso antalia. Daddy, according to your word, be as due unto me, my entire household, that we may grow like the lily. Pramas koto brande kaso antalia, mama. Ke ka ba 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 ba. Ka ra ba to kaso antalia, mama. Ka ka ba li ka ka brodo kaso antalia. Thank you, my dear father. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. He said, and cast for his root as Lebanon. You want to know how strong a tree is? Check the roots. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, say, Father, strengthen me on every side. Let me be rooted in you. Let me be rooted in righteousness. Let me be rooted in holiness. Let me be rooted in grace. Make me stronger. Stronger than all my enemies. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Add a lot to strengthen you on every side. Mama Cassantalia. Stronger, stronger, far stronger. Far stronger. Masukalebo Shantali. Oh, my riba baba baba. Lord, strengthen me, strengthen me, strengthen me. Let my roots spread. Let no power of the wicked be able to uproot me. Karima, mama, mama. Nothing will uproot me from your hand. Thank you, my dear Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we are praying. He said, His branches shall spread. In other words, you are going to multiply. You are going to do what? Multiply. Lift up your two hands and say, Father. Increase and multiply your blessing upon me. Let my branches spread. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Go, go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Add a lot to increase and multiply His blessings upon your life on a daily basis. Lord, increase and multiply your blessings upon our life, upon your church, upon our home, upon our family. Increase and multiply our blessings on every side. Let our branches spread. My Santa Lea, you let us not be limited. Remove every limitation. Every limitation. Every limitation. Thank you, my dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He said, and his beauty shall be as the only tree. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, say, Father, beautify my life. Beautify my destiny. Beautify my family. Envelope us with a new glory. Oh, God of heaven, envelope me with a new glory. Can you go ahead and turn to the Almighty God? Add a lot to beautify you. Add a lot to take away every form of ugliness. Any form of ugliness in your life. Let God take them away and beautify you. Masuka la basatalia. That is beautify us. Lord, decorate us. Lord, envelope us in your glory. Let us radiate your glory. Let our life radiate your glory. Cause your light to shine upon us. Take us out of darkness. Paribo to Kazantali, Mama. Oh, Mariba, Baba, Baba. Karaba to Kazantali, Mama. Supale, Kazantali. That did beautify us. Almighty Father, beautify us. Almighty Father, beautify us. Almighty Father, beautify us. Almighty Father, decorate us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. He said, and he smell as Lebanon. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, perfume my destiny with the aroma of heaven. Everywhere I go, let the good smell of God Upon my life, draw favor to me, draw help to me, draw blessing to me. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Talk to the Almighty God. Masuka le mashentalia. Oh, Mariba Baba Baba, Karaba Baba Kasantalia. Ah, mighty and everlasting Father, let your smell of heaven envelope me. Let your smell, your good smell, who's out of my destiny. Let it attract my helpers. Let it attract my blessing. Let it attract support in the name of Jesus. Pariba, baba, baba, baba. 
my sister talib produko san talib mama thank you my dear father hey jesus most wonderful name we are praying Amen. finally lift up your two hands to heaven and say father ah. this is the day that you Jehovah god mighty have made and your word it is written i will rejoice and be glad in it therefore oh god let me have reason to rejoice today let me have reason to celebrate today take sorrow away from me let me not weep today let me not mourn today let me not lack today let me not fail today let me not be stagnated today let me not know evil let not it trouble me today open your mouth take authority over the day take authority over the day take authority over the day ah my river ba, ba, ba. this is the day that the lord have made i will rejoice i'll be glad in it i will not weep i will not sorrow i will not know evil i will not see evil nothing will trouble me today <laughs> god's presence will go with me today god will help me today God will stand by me today. The Lord will not abandon me. The Lord will not deny me. The Lord will not forsake me. All will be well with me today. God will ruin the affairs of my life today. Oh, I will remember for good today. Kali, mama, mama. There will be rain of blessing upon me and my household today. Signs, wonders, and miracles will follow me today. Ah, no arrow of the wicked will be able to penetrate me today. No bullet of the enemy will be able to hit me today. No enchantment, no divination, no sorcery, no wisdom revelation will prosper against me today. Kali, kaka, baye, kata, leyanda. Brogodo, kazanta, li, mama. Hey, only your will be done. <laughs> Lord, let only your will be done in our life today. In the name of Jesus. Kakama, papa, papa. Take tragedy, calamity, sickness, diseases far away from us today. Kakaba, ba, 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 ba. We dissociate ourselves from whatever evil associated with today. Any evil protection, any incantation, any enchantment into this day we nullify by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Kalepos Katebra that is sanctified this day bloody day for us oh God let it be a day of peace, a day of joy a day of glad tidings, a day of goodness thank you mighty father and Jesus most wonderful name we have prayed I thought someone would say a better amen. amen mighty and everlasting father we want to say good morning our maker our creator, our redeemer our savior we say good morning the horn of our salvation, we say good morning. Our rock and our defense, we say good morning. The strong tower, we say good morning. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for defending us. Thank you for fighting our battle. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for good health. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for helping us on every side. Lord, I said our time in the name of Jesus. Thank you for Monday. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for Wednesday. Lord, I said our thanks in the name of Jesus. Daddy, your word is switching. I will have mercy on who have our mercy. And I will have compassion on who have our compassion. For it's not of him that will let or him that reigns the Lord that showed mercy. Lord, for everyone under the influence of my voice today, make us candidate of your mercy in the name of Jesus. All throughout today, wherever my father will hear a Lord, amen, God will show you mercy. In his mercy, he shall be well with you. In his mercy, he will hear your cry and answer you. In his mercy, he will defend you on every side. In his mercy, he will not allow the wicked to prevail over you. In his mercy, Blessings we pursue and overtake you today in the name of Jesus. In His mercy, nothing will go wrong in your life, in your home, in your family, in your business in the name of Jesus. May the Lord be a due unto you. You will grow on a daily basis, you will live and you will not die. May the Lord cause you to be rooted in righteousness. And in holiness, and you will be stronger spiritually, physically, financially, materially. The Lord will strengthen you. No power of the enemy shall be able to uproot you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you will increase and multiply in goodness and in blessings, in riches and in wealth, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God beautify you today. Let God decorate you today. Let God envelop you in His glory. Let the glory of God radiate in your life. You will not know shame today. You will not be disgraced today. Let the Lord perfume your destiny with the aroma of heaven. Let God perfume your destiny with the aroma of heaven. Let the aroma of heaven draw blessings into your life. Draw helpers to you. Cause you to be favored. Your today will be far better than your yesterday. Today will be a good day for you. A day of rejoicing. A day of celebration. Things of sorrow are not permitted in your life. Things of weeping are not permitted in your life. Whatever the agenda of the wicked concerning you today, God will frustrate them. Any arrow from the pit of hell, back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will order your footsteps alive. The Lord will guide you today. All your expectations today, none shall be cut short. In the mighty name of Jesus, the heaven over you today will remain open. Every door you will knock at, <laughs> it shall be open unto you. You will knock at one door, seven will open unto you. And any loss you have incurred, let God restore you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the great provider manifest himself in your life. And in the remaining few days to the end of this month, let it be the best day of this month for you in the name of Jesus. I decree wherever my father will hear a louder amen, you will not end this month empty handed. I say you will not end this month empty handed. My God will surprise you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Say that amen three powerful times. What to go? Two. And uh, lift up your right hand and say with me very quickly, I glorify the name of the Lord for who he is, for all that the Lord had done in my life, and for all that he will yet do. I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that the Lord will be a due unto us. I will not know any form of dryness all the days of our lives. I declare and I confess that because the Lord will be a due unto me, I will blossom like the lily and I shall be deeply rooted in the Lord all the days of my life. I declare and I confess that I will grow in grace. I will grow in faith. I will grow like the lilies. And I shall be beautified on every side. I declare and I confess that the Lord will perfume my destiny with divine aroma that will attract my helpers, that will attract favor to me, and that we attract blessings to me. The Lord will divinely monitor and supervise my greatness. And my greatness will not be aborted. I will finish well. I will finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to hell. I will in eternity. I will love the Lord. And I will serve the Lord all the days of my life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Why bless the Holy Ghost for one minute? My super machine to live my man. Zali Kapode Brade Kasantali. Rakapa Mama Mama Kashantali Baba. Rabole Kaswanta de Brondo Kusantali. She Papa Mama Mama Mama. Zazale Buscanta Brade Kasuntali. She palay gazunta le machiantali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. 
I thought someone say a better amen. I pray for you today. That that your mouth has declared, heaven will grant unto you. That that your mouth has spoken, you will have it. You will taste it. You will eat of it. In the name of Jesus. Anything that want to deny you the manifestation of your confession, let God destroy them. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen like thunder. Seven powerful times. Two, three, four, five, six. And Jam your hand and make a joyfulness unto the Lord. I say make a joyfulness unto the Lord. Can you start your day with celebration? Can you start your day with rejoicing? Because as you are rejoicing, you are not going to sorrow. I say rejoice. Let somebody scream. Can I prophesy to your life? Those that hate you shall be ashamed. You didn't hear me loud and clear. Only one person heard me. Those that hate you shall be ashamed. So shall it be. The right side guarantee your provision. Amen. Our test is taken from the book of John 21, verse 5 to 6. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, have ye any meat? The answer he no. Capital no. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the sheep, and ye shall find. They cut therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. For the multitude of what? Fishes. We told her yesterday that that word right can either be the opposite of left or opposite of wrong. Am I correct? English students. And we said that there is always the right side to everything in life. And we told them that it is either one is operating on the right side or from the wrong side. Because there is right side to everything in life, we told her that there is right side in business. There is right side of your destiny. There is right side of ministry. There is right side of your career. Praise the Lord. And we told her that only the great provider, only the what? No what the right side is. Praise the Lord. And we told her that only him can reveal it. Only him can direct you. Only him can guide you. And only him can lead you. Praise the Lord. Do we still remember? I'm asking those of us that were here yesterday. I said, do we still remember? Then we began to look at what is the wrong side? What is the left side? We told us when you are operating from the wrong side, you experience dryness. Place of dryness is the wrong side or left side. We also told her that the wrong side is the place of toiling without result. We told us 
that the wrong side it is place of expectation without realization you also told us that the left side or the wrong side is the place of failure and bitter story may you not operate from that side we also told us that the place the wrong side is the place where you cash nothing but the good news is that when Jesus came on board and asked the disciples if they had any meat he asked because he wanted to manifest as the great provider and so when the disciples told him no we have no meat he directed them to the right side so the question we are answering this morning is what is the right side for somebody who has been operating from the wrong side of life there will be a divine relocation this morning wherever my father hear a loud amen shall be so for you because like we said yesterday many of us are not experiencing his provisions because we are operating from the wrong side. When he asked them, have ye any meat? And he said, no. He decided that, well, I'm the great provider. You must have meat. Why you have not got one was well, because you are looking for meat on the wrong side. But from today, you are praying from the right side. What is the right side? Number one, the right side is the side of the Lord. <laughs> what did I say? Who is on the? <laughs> I want to know. I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. And the Lord is on my side. As long as I live, as long as I live, I am on the Lord's side. You want to be the right side of life? You must be at the side of God. <laughs> In Genesis 49 while Jacob was blessing his sons he ended up pronouncing a curse on Levi Levi is one of the sons of Jacob and we call his descendants Levites that's where Moses came from that's where Aaron came from this particular family, they are known for their anger. And so why their father was blessing them, he said because of their anger, they are going to scatter. Praise the Lord. They are going to do what? Because anger is found in their bosom. Anger is found where? In their bosom. So their father says they are going to scatter. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. But when Moses collected the tablet from God and he returned and found that the children of Israel had made a graven image and was already serving that image, that calf. Praise the Lord. Moses stood and asked, who is on the Lord's side? And you know what? Only the children of Levi came to the Lord's side. Hallelujah. And because they came to the Lord's side, the Almighty God transferred the blessings of firstborn, which is double portion to the Levites. 
So, that means when you are on the lost side, you are entitled to double portion blessings. <laughs> you didn't get that one. You're entitled to what? Because when Levi came to the side of the law, God transferred the blessings of firstborn to the Levite. And the blessings of firstborn is the blessing that is double. Can I pray for only one person? This month of the great provider, I decree over your life from today double blessings. I say double blessing, double financial blessing, double spiritual blessing, double material blessing, double promotion. I say double promotion, double breakthrough. You are that below there, you are living it out there. Do you know what it means when you begin to assess double blessing every day of your life? It means the great provider is taking extra care of you. One portion from God is enough to sustain you. Now, when you now decide to now double it, praise the Lord. You want to know the implication of double? Go and ask Elisha. When in Second Kings chapter two. He asked for the double portion. Praise the Lord. When he got it, he doubled the miracle that Elijah performed. Because he had access to double. Can I pray for you one more time? For as many of you that are on the Lord's side, receive double blessing today. I said receive double blessing today. Whatever God has promised you before today, let God double it today. If God has promised you greatness, let him double your greatness. If God has promised you riches and wealth, let God double it today. If God has promised you favor, let God double it today. For an expectant mother that have no child, you are expecting just a son, let God double it for you. Everything now double, double. Everything now double, double. Promotion now double, double. Everything double, double. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. So those on the lost side, often than not, they assess double. That's why he said, for your shame. <laughs> for your what? What is he going to do? Sir, you have shame when you're on the wrong side. You have shame when you're on the left side. But now that you have crossed over to the lost side, he said, For your shame, I will give you double. For somebody under the influence of my voice, before sunset today, let God give you double blessing. So, the right side. In life is the side of God, and that's why I am making a passionate appeal to as many of all that are still playing game with God. Please, sir, please, man, cross over to the Lord's side. At the Lord's side, you have peace, at the Lord's side, you have joy. At the Lord's side, you have safety. At the Lord's side, you have security. At the Lord's side, you have protection. At the Lord's side, grace is available. At the Lord's side, favor is available. At the Lord's side, mercy is available. Little daughter say, Father, keep me by your side. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? I will forever be at the Lord's side. Lord, keep me by your side. Keep me and my family by your side. By your side. By your side. The right side is the side of the law. 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 The side of peace. The side of joy. The side of progress. The side of blessing. The side of promotion. Open your mouth up to him. Lord, keep me by your side. Thank you, my Jesus. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Yeah. I thought I was say better, amen. amen. Be Number two, what is the right side? We said the right side guarantee your provision. That is the topic this morning 
part two of what we took yesterday. Beloved, the right side is the place of productivity, place of fruitfulness, place of results, place of answer. Brethren, there are many today involved in activity without productivity. But when you are on the right side, you have activity with productivity, not activity without productivity. Why the disciples were there looking and searching for fish, they engaged themselves in activity, but there was no productivity. But when God directed them to the right side, their activity produced productivity. I am praying for somebody here today, you will be productive. Mentally, you will be productive. Spiritually, you will be productive. In business, you will be productive. Your marriage will be productive. In the same way, say it loud and clear. Because after that, they long to the right side. They saw result. Listen to me. There are many of us laboring without result. I am praying for you today. My Father in heaven will give you result. Do you know why you need result? Result terminate insult. Result that's what? Terminate insult. You see to me, why people are insulting you because they have not seen result. The day they see result, they will respect you. They will honor you. I am praying for you, sir. God will give you result. In your businesses, God will give you result. In your career, God will give you result. In all your involvement, God will give you result. No more productive, no more activity without productivity. If you are saying, say that and clear. Brethren, it's a terrible thing to be engaged in fruitless labor. When you are toiling and there is no result. But when you are on the right side, you are productive. When you are on the right side, you are fruitful. When you are on the right side, there is result for your labor. Listen to me, sir. If God began to give you result, it's as if you are the one that knows how to do it best. Am I correct? People will respect you. Hello? Today, many seem not to have respect for the leadership of the nation. Am I correct? Why? No result. No what? No result. When results come, everybody respects. Stand on your feet. Lift up your two hands. Say, Father, make me productive. Let me operate for the right side of my destiny. Enough of laboring without resolve. Can you pray for yourself this morning? Can you pray for yourself this morning that you no longer labor without resort? Kalima Sokala Brande Kaso Talimama Satala Bababa Kale Brando Kasan Talimama Kale Brande Kasan Talimama Kapale Mama Mama Kasan Tale. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus mighty name we are praying Amen. with the result be seated number three the right side is the place of breakthrough place of what sir if there is anything the great provider will do for you is to give you what breakthrough by the time the disciple got breakthrough the bible says they had big fishes praise the lord He said, and he said unto them, cut the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. He said, they cut therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of what? Fitches. They had a breakthrough. How many of all know that it is possible between now and Saturday to have a breakthrough? How many of all believe? I said, how many of all believe? 
although they are believing, can you lift up your right hand? The servant of God said to a whole nation, he said, by this time tomorrow, <laughs> by this time tomorrow, and there was breakthrough. I stand here today as the servant of the Most High God for somebody that will say a believing amen. By this time tomorrow, let God give you a breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Material breakthrough. Breakthrough in your business. Breakthrough in your career. Breakthrough in ministry. I said, receive a breakthrough. They weren't expecting that breakthrough. But the great provider came to the scene and gave them breakthrough. In your place of work today, you will receive a visitation unto breakthrough. A visitation unto breakthrough. We are saying and say loud and clear. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Be seated in his presence. Where the breakthrough is sweet. You want to know what breakthrough is? Go and ask Isaac, Genesis 26, when he began to dig the, his father's well, and they began to 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 to. Uh, 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 I want to use a particular word. They began to struggle over the well with him. The first one was Sitna. The second one, Esek. Praise the Lord. But a day came. The Bible say. They got to the Rehoboth. When he got to Rehoboth, the Bible said, and they strove not with him. They did what? No more strive. No more struggling with him. There's somebody here. God will take you to your Rehoboth. Your place of breakthrough. Permanent breakthrough. Let that will say it louder. Amen. Number what now? The right side. The what? It's a side of good problem. Mm. Good what? Good problem. The disciple had a good problem of how to carry the fish that they caught. Do you know what it means to have a good problem? Your good problem comes when God began to bless and prosper you. And you say this one is too much. For instance, you are into business. Somebody has given you business to do. You have not finished it. Another one come. You have not finished another one come. You have not finished another one come. At the end of the day, you are the one say, please, 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 please. I don't want. I don't want. The one that I have, I've not been able to handle it. Who is God talking to here this one? Let me first pray for city of light. In that name, that is above every other name. City of light, we experience good problem. Where there will be multitude that plot this place, plot the new auditorium, there is no space for people. And I also pray for your business. May God take you to the level where you will say, Lord, this is too much. Use your mouth to say, I say, Father, take me to the realm of blessing that I will say, this is too much. Can you go ahead and pray for yourself? Let God take you to that realm. <laughs> it is possible. You say, Lord, this is too much. This is too much. We are talking about the right place. <laughs> The right play, when you are the right play, blessing for sure and overtake you. You have blessing overflowing. You have excess. You have excess. You say, Lord, this is too much. <laughs> Thank you, mighty Father. In hey, Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Be seated. When you get to the right side, the right side is the side of restoration. Beside all, listen to me. It doesn't matter how you are wasted time. 
how you have wasted life the day you find yourself at the right side it will look as if all those things you ever experienced is as if it never happened hello it's as if it never do that's why the Bible says when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion it's like them that do all even the hidden they will testify that their God has done great things for them if you don't believe me read Job 42 verse 12 Job lost everything but when he got to the right side there was full restoration and the Bible says God restored him by how? Double. Now I told you that when you are at the right side, double blessings are your portion. Sir, don't forget that disciples have toiled all night. They have no meat. But what they had after they cast the net to the right side. Beloved, what they have not been able to cast for years was what they got. Yes, somebody is here this morning. My daddy asked me to tell you the kind of blessing you have never received for the for the, for for your life since you were born before the end of this year. You will testify. Who is that fellow? I say, who is that fellow? I say, who is that fellow? Use your mouth and say it and say, Father, Father surprise me. The kind of blessing I've never experienced in my life before. At the order of the disciples, when they cut their knee to the right side, let me experience it, O oh God. Take me to the right side of my destiny and let me experience it. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We can give you three more. Why standing? First one, because you want to pray. The right side is the side of fullness of joy. Fullness of what? When you are the right side of your destiny, and your ima kuwa kuosile. Oh, you didn't hear that one. Your joy will overflow. Yeah. How many of us want to overflow in joy? Lift up your hand and say, Father, Father from today, yeah. let me operate on the right side of destiny and let my joy overflow. Let me not overflow in joy. In the name of Jesus, let there be no sorrow. Let me not weep. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Karama to Gazanta Lima Ma. Kabale Mama Kasanta Lia. Daddy, give me fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The right side. Beloved, the right side is the side of testimony. When you are there, things are happening. Suddenly, in the church, brethren, we call you sister testimony. Brethren, we call you brother testimony. Because every now and then, when they say, is there anybody with testimony? Hey, I have testimony. You call. Yesterday, I was not expecting I had a credit alert. It was 50 million naira. Another time. Any testimony. testimony. You raise your hand. I have testimony. Just yesterday, I had a Prado Tiaroba gym. Any testimony. You raise your hand. I have testimony. Just yesterday, we packed into our new house. The right side is the place of testimony. Can I pray for you, sir? Oh. The right side. They will hear your testimony. I say they will hear your testimony. I say they will hear your testimony. Lift up your right hand and lift up your two hands and say, Father, 
Say, Father, before the end of the month, give me testimony of provision. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Let my testimony be heard. Even my neighbor here, let him hear my testimony. My neighbor here, let her hear my testimony. Open your mouth, talk to the Almighty God. Let pastor hear my testimony. Let the church hear my testimony. Open your mouth, cry to God this morning. Lord, let me operate on the right side. Lord, let me operate on the right side. Lord, let me operate on the right side. Almighty God, let me operate on the right side. Let my testimony be now. Lord, let my testimony be now. Ah, enough, oh God. <laughs> let them hear my testimony also. Lord, put testimony in my mouth. <laughs> let me sing a new song. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Stretch out your hands to the altar. Let me pray for you. The right side. Guarantee your provision. I pray for you, sir. Let there be divine relocation. Let there be divine relocation. From the left side to the right side. From the wrong side to the right side. That your joy may overflow. That you may have good problems. That you may break through in life. That your testimony might be hard. That you will be at the side of the Lord. All the days of your life. That you begin to accept double, double blessing. That you may know all that restoration. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful amen. One to go. Jam your hands together for the Almighty God. Lift up your offering and say, Father, with my seed, O oh God, keep me permanently on the right side. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Lord, keep me permanently on the right side. Almighty Father, keep me permanently on the right side. Thank you, Mighty Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. The Lord accept your offering in Jesus' name. By the special grace of God, as we are running out the month tomorrow, we want to handle the secret for continuous provision. The secret for what? How do I want continuous provision? Brethren, I told you, don't miss the. the he said, he said, better is the end of a thing. Now what? Well, I believe secrets are not for everybody. Mm. The people that are supposed to know, I know God will bring you tomorrow. Uh, and even those that are not here. Between your own blessing and my own, which one is the biggest? Let us not forget that how solution holds later this evening for those that meet on Wednesday. The grace. <laughs>